Well, the fallout continues after this violent scene at the Wyatt Detention Center last night. Now you can see the truck right there just driving into a group of hundreds of people who gathered to protest there. And tonight we've learned the Wyatt employee driving the truck has been placed on administrative leave pending the results of an investigation by state police and Wyatt officials. Highway to Sue supporter Kate Walsh spoke to organizers of the protest and has the details on why they're demanding action. Kate. Well, Mike and Shannon, that incident, which happened right behind us here outside the Wyatt last night, has also sparked reaction from state and congressional leaders today, including Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea, saying it's a painful reminder on the dangers of privatizing prisons. Captured on video, this truck driving toward a group of protesters blocking the entrance to employee parking outside Wyatt Detention Facility in Central Falls. Target 12 has confirmed this photo sent to us by a protest organizer is that of correctional officer Captain Thomas Woodworth behind the wheel of that truck. The Wyatt releasing a statement saying in part, quote, Captain Thomas Woodworth has been placed on administrative leave pending the results of the independent investigation being conducted by the Rhode Island State Police and the Wyatt's internal investigation. Protest organizer Natalie Lerner said she was knocked over trying to get away from the truck as it headed toward her and that other correctional officers then responded with pepper spray. There's one person who's still in the hospital with a broken leg um, and there are four other people who've had to go to the hospital, um, three of them for very intense pepper spray. For hours before that, everything was peaceful as hundreds of people demanded the Wyatt end its practice of working with Immigration and Customs Enforcement to house about 139 immigration detainees as they await trial. If that institution is willing to unleash that kind of violence on peaceful protesters in front of media, in front of cameras, in front of bystanders, it's hard to imagine what what immigrants behind those walls who don't have access to any of that legal recourse, who don't have any of those protections, no transparency or accountability, what violence they're being subject to every day. New at 6, we give you a unique perspective from a former correctional officer about what goes into responding to protests outside a facility such as this one here in Central Falls. For now, we're live in Central Falls. I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. At 6, we're hearing from a former correctional officer about what happened during last night's demonstration at the Wyatt Detention Center. Both state police and the attorney general's office tells us they are investigating after a pickup truck drove at a group of protesters. Tonight, the Wyatt says one of their correctional officers has been placed on leave and they're also investigating. Iowa Disney News reporter Kate Walsh joins us live now from Central Falls. Kate. Well, you've probably seen the video of that incident by now that occurred right behind me here outside the Wyatt Detention Facility last night. But new this hour, we're getting a unique perspective on what it's like for a federal facility like this when there's protests right outside. Five protesters reportedly sent to the hospital, at least one with a broken leg, after this truck seemingly drove into protesters blocking the employee entrance outside the Wyatt Detention Facility Wednesday night. I definitely think there's no excuse for driving a truck through peaceful protesters. Protest organizers took that video and also this close-up photo of the correctional officer inside the truck. In a statement, the Wyatt confirmed his identity, saying in part, quote, Captain Thomas Woodworth has been placed on administrative leave pending the results of the independent investigation being conducted by the Rhode Island State Police and the Wyatt internal investigation. Hundreds of protesters were demanding the Wyatt end its practice of housing about 139 immigration detainees as they await trial. We are calling on state leaders to step up and take action to shut down the Wyatt, to end this partnership with ICE. Eyewitness News law enforcement analyst Steve O'Donnell, who was once a correctional officer, couldn't speculate about this incident, but said even peaceful protests put officers on higher alert. The correction officers see it differently that they have to make sure the inmates inside that facility are safe. They have to make sure it's not a ruse to have somebody escape. They have to make sure that blocking entrances is not a setup to break someone out of prison or kill somebody. And Steve O'Donnell, of course, is also the former colonel of Rhode Island State Police. Now, we've also heard today from state and congressional leaders in reaction to that video. You can read their full statements on our website at WPRI.com. Live in Central Falls, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.